all kind of deal. But we're just praying that it goes beyond all of that and moves to a place, man, where we're going out full of vision, full of fire from God to bring change to our community. Amen? Amen. Well, I believe it. Man, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. Hey, let me just say, if you're here at Longview First Assembly and this is your first time and you're our guest this morning, thanks so much for being here. Man, how awesome is it that you're here today? We love having you here and you're our guest today. And we just say thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning. Man, we are a church that just loves families and loves you. And we just pray that you feel that love this morning. If that is you, if you're our guest this morning... Uh, in just a second, we're going to ask that you'd reach in that seat pocket in front of you. There's a green care and communication card there. If you'd grab that and begin to fill that out and uh, know that you're not the only one that's going to be filling that out. That's something everybody here does every week. So if everybody else would grab that card as well and just begin to fill that out and uh, prepare to turn that in in the offering here in just a second. As you're filling that out, uh, man, just remember that you can write some prayer requests on there. We as a staff, we take those seriously. We read through those, and, and throughout the week, we pray with you. Now, maybe God's answer to prayer requests that you put on there, just a need in your life. You just want to, us to rejoice with you. Man, write that on there as well. We love seeing those comments saying, man, God did this. God came through for our family. And so you can do that as well. And a couple of you, even recently, even this morning, asked me about the newcomers class. And uh, that's something else that you can write on there as well. Maybe uh, you want to get into that newcomers class so that you can get connected here at LFA. That's a great place to start right there. You just write that in on the, on the caring communication card and we'll get in touch with you as we need to. Well, while you're filling that out, I'm going to invite you to turn your attention to the screens. We're going to watch a video real quick. LFA is committed to reaching the students of this generation. A few years ago, we put on an incredible outreach called Light. We did everything we could to entice students to come. And you know what the great thing is? They came. They came for the fun, they came for the free food, and they came for the giveaway. But not only did they receive those things, they also received a queer presentation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the beautiful thing is, they got saved. We're still experiencing fruit from that great outreach in our ministry today. The awesome thing is, is we're doing light again. September 19th, we're bringing it back. It's going to be another night like none other before. We're asking you as a church to get behind us. Would you pray with us for the salvation of students? Would you support this ministry and volunteer to make this one incredible night, one for the history books for the kingdom of God? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so stinking excited. Dude, I, a couple of you are clapping because you were part of Light last time, and you remember, man, the emotion of the night. You remember the feeling. You remember, man, that we did everything we could to reach students, to get them here, and then we told them about the love of Jesus Christ, and it changed their lives. It was an incredible night. Well, we're doing, we're doing it again September 19th. And uh, as we're sending students back to school, we're sending them back saying, listen, go to school, but invite your friends, tell them about light, tell them about this event. And this year we've themed it, we're calling it Light Apocalypse. And uh, some of you are going, dude, really? You're going to get, yeah, we're going to get students with Light Apocalypse. And, and, and here's the thing, you know, when we think Apocalypse, it's kind of in pop culture now, students kind of thinking about uh, the end and, and kind of the whole uh, deal of how's that all going to go down and all that stuff. Well, here's, here's one of the definitions of apocalypse. It's this. It's the forces of good permanently triumphing over the forces of evil. And we know that's going to happen. Yeah. Dude, I saw that in the dictionary and I kind of, I, I did a little dance in my office. It was cool. But we're going to talk to students about the cross and how Christ permanently triumphed over the sin virus in our lives. We're just going to tell them, man, Jesus loves you, and it's going to be a great night. It's going to be one of those nights for the record books for our church and for our community. And you know what? We're believing for individual lives. 
as they meet Christ for the very first time. You see, their record is going to change for all eternity, and it's going to be so cool. So September 19th, we're asking you to mark it on your calendars to get behind us and be a part of light. You can sign up to volunteer on your care and communication card right now, and uh, we'll begin to compile a list of volunteers. We're going to need all hands on deck. This is going to be what we call around here a blue shirt event, man, where we have everybody out making it happen, reaching students for God. It's going to be a great night. So thank you in advance for being a part of that, for helping us reach students here at LFA. Well, while you're signing up for light on your care and communication card, I'm going to ask the ushers to come and prepare to wait on you for a morning tithe and offering. And we're just going to continue to worship God this morning through our offerings. Would you bow your hearts and heads with me as we pray? God, you're so awesome. God, we thank you for an opportunity to be here today to worship you, to honor you. God, to return to you what's yours that tithe. And God, we just love you so much and give it with full hearts of gratitude. We thank you for it. Now bless those who give this morning. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. so much for your faithfulness and giving. Thank you so much for being here today. And to all our guests, if you're a guest with us here today for the first time, as Pastor Andrew mentioned, you are our, our VIP guest. You're an honored guest with us. And if you're a returning guest, maybe second, second time or third time, we say welcome. Church, can we give her just a round of applause to all our guests here today? Thank you so much for being here today. Appreciate it. What an atmosphere, atmosphere is in this place right now, and I call it an atmosphere of change. And that should, you know, that should be our approach to every Sunday, right, church? I mean, when we come together in God's house, it ought to be an atmosphere of change. We say, God, change me. This is an opportunity, guys, for all of us, including myself, this pastor here, to leave this place different than how we came. And otherwise, that's and that what it's all about. Is that God changed my heart, change it today, change it forever, change my forever, change my destiny, Lord. Just changed my heart today, and that's for all of us. And I love the atmosphere we have here today. And I'm telling you guys, you're in for a treat. We've got some special guests with us that are no stranger to Longview First Assembly. In fact, I know they've come here for years, uh, back when Brother Carter was here, and I brought him back. These guys are personal friends of mine from Oklahoma. Don't hold that against them. You guys have put up with us now, so you got to put up with them. Uh, but they are great guests, and no, like I say, no stranger here to Longview First Assembly. The Perkies are with us. Mark and Susie Perky, their daughters, with us, of course, as well. And I'm sure maybe we have a treat from you guys. I'm not sure what's going on and what the what's in store. But you guys, and we're gonna have an opportunity, guys, after service, after he shares his heart and just brings the word to bless this couple. The, what we call is a missionary evangelist, because they don't just evangelize here in America; they're global. And these guys have, uh, conduct missions endeavors all over the world, and I'm sure you're gonna share about that. I don't want to steal your thunder. Uh, but just to let you guys know, the heart behind is these are missionary evangelists, not just evangelists. They do a great work all over. I keep up with these guys on Facebook. I know where they're at and see the pictures and just see this, the enormous change that happens all over this world. I know God's using this couple in a powerful way, and we get to have them here today with us. I'm really glad about that. So, church, can we put our hands together? Let's welcome Mark and Susie Perky right now. So, come on, buddy. Good morning, everyone. Well, we are no strangers to uh, F LFA today because I was looking back at my records and we actually started coming back when the Ivies were here, back in the 90s. So we're, we're, uh, we're kind of uh, old. You're not supposed to say amen right there, but we've been coming a while. But what makes it special is we have 
friends here, Pastor, and, and it's so nice to walk in and see people that we've known through the years to grab their hand and hug their necks and some that we've even gotten to spend time with on the golf course or at a restaurant, uh, just making our time here very, very special. So we're, we're so grateful. We, uh, again, this year have our daughter with us. She has a couple of more years of high school, and then we will be empty nesters. She will go to Bible college, and she is a minister in training, so she's being trained by her parents now on uh, ministry and and uh, so forth. And I want Susie and Lindy to come, and Susie will greet you and introduce their songs, and, and I know you're in for a special treat this morning. Good morning. It is our pleasure to be back with you, and uh, we are excited about this day. We've prayed a lot about it and uh, have even missed a few meals that God would fall in this place today and that he would have a holy visitation. And we don't feel that it's any coincidence that it's the kickoff of the new school year, and so we've really been praying for that as well. I want to introduce our daughter, Lindy, and she's going to actually introduce this next song to you. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to be here with you all. Um, I just want to share a scripture from Romans 8.28. It says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the, the called according to his purpose. And as these students start the new school year, I just want to encourage you guys to just go out there and um, give school your best and glorify God with everything that you do. I already started school back in Oklahoma, so I've kind of been in the kick of things for like a week now. So I just encourage you guys to do the same. And the song that we're going to be singing is called You Are Good. Hope you all enjoy it.
There's a precious, sweet spirit of the Lord here today, and we know that there are needs present. We live in a troubling world, and the Lord's about to come, isn't he? And it's exciting to live in the last days. It's a perspective. You can choose to think that it's exciting to live in that last days if you believe that Jesus is in control. If you're not living in faith, and you're motivated by fear, which much of the world is, then you won't think that it's exciting to live in the last days because you won't feel that God is in control. It's a perspective, just saying. Think about that today. What is your perspective? It's a troubling day that we live in, but I'm at peace because God is in control. Things are happening that he said would. So that's a good thing because he's in control. And he's going to take care of us. And that's for somebody today that's worrying. He's going to take care of us, but you need to let go and trust him. And believe that he's big. And he's big enough. Can you do that? Just say to yourself right now, he's big enough. That's good. You say that every time worry starts to creep in, okay? I want to read Revelation 21. This is talking about heaven, and this is our destination. Our destination's heaven, and it's going to be heaven. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, and the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. In verse 3, I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, or the church. The place of worship, it's with men, and he will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God, and he will wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there will be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, nor shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. That's going to be heaven. It's going to be heaven. This song's beautiful. It's right out of Revelation 21. Jesus face to face. 